here I am, it's 12.30 in the morning. I'm doing my favorite thing, sitting in the car and thinking about life. I just got back yesterday from Munich. I was on the trip with my mom. I uploaded a couple of videos, but I tell you, I recorded so many videos. I think I did like 10, 12 videos. I just did not have the time to upload it because first, what people don't see when you travel, I drove nine hours straight to Munich that day. There was like uh, traffic on the way. We had to take a break, check this, check this. So it took us nine hours to go to Munich. So that's one full day you already lose traveling. And you're probably asking yourself, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you because some people want to know how it is to be a YouTuber. And those are things you don't get to see. So I'm driving nine hours. I got there. A friend of mine picked me up. We actually went out there to the Oktoberfest. And it's like paradise for me. It's like for content creator, that's the best thing you can do. I'm filming everything. And I was up all night. I got to the hotel like maybe like two in the morning. And then I'm so tired. I'm sleeping till eight, nine o'clock in the morning. And then there's so much stuff to see in Munich. So you're always on the loose and trying to do videos. And you don't get enough sleep. And I don't have no time to edit my videos. And I have to say, people, they do travel vlogs. I always have some people in mind. Casey Neistat. And there's some other guys that film every single day, upload videos. It's really hard to do because you need to sleep. You need to, you need to order a hotel. You have to drive there. You have to park your car. You have to do this. You have to do the, all this. You got to film. You got to edit. And it's unbelievable. So I'm back and I have like at least 10 videos I can still upload. And I just made this video today. I'm just sitting here talking. But I wanted to know what it feels like. I'm absolutely thankful that I can do what I do to fly here to Germany, spend time with my mom, go to different places, and I can still upload videos and try to make a living. So I'm really thankful for that. But I did not know that it's actually that hard to do. When you travel for a week, film everything, you're totally exhausted. And I've never done it before. You know, you see me in Venice, I film one day, I relax a little bit, I film here. I go here, it's not that I'm bomb, 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 constantly filming and it's a job. It's hard to do, it's not easy to do. But hey, I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning how to travel more and do vlogs. So having that said, you might have to wait a couple of days to see some of my old vlogs I filmed at the Oktoberfest. I just have so much footage. During the day I was there, I was there late at night when everybody is gone. You cannot just walk around and film. Sometimes nothing is happening. So you got to spend some time in different tents at the Oktoberfest. And then um, you wait for something to happen. You think that's funny. That's something you will be interested in. So it's going to be a nightmare to edit those videos because I have so hours and hours and hours of footage. But... I think it's going to be a good video, something you guys will enjoy, I hope at least. I also want to mention something. Um, people donate some money to me, Super Chat, $2, $1.99. Uh, and then some people say, oh, you never say thank you. Sometimes when I see it popping up on my screen here, I thank you right away, but sometimes I don't see it and there's no way for me to go back and look at all the comments and see, oh, he gave me a dollar ninety nine, he gave me two ninety nine, five dollars ninety nine cents. I don't know how to look at it. So if you donated some money to me, I am really thankful. Thank you so much. But I have no way of looking it up that who gave me the money and unless it's on PayPal. So I just wanted to say that. Thank you, everybody who supported me on my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think I talked enough and here we go.
Welcome to beautiful Germany, Greifel town. Yeah, I'm just back from Spain for my walking tour and I'm so happy. Now I have time for Mikey. Now we do things together. Mike. You, was gone. you were gone for two weeks. Where, where did you go? Spain hiking, Camino, Santiago, you know. That's the third time this year, huh? Third time this year, yeah. But again, wonderful. Yeah, lots of good people. Weather was good. Cervezas was good, wine was good, food was good, everything, yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm happy to be back and now I have time to do things with Mikey. All yeah, right. let's make it happen. Yeah, we are not at the Oktoberfest. We're the only ones on this ride, I think, here. And they're closing down everything already. I said in my video last time that I would never walk the Camino. I'm not a guy who likes to walk, but he enjoys it, so... I like to come to like a festival like this and walk around and look at people. Here are the Ghostbusters again. It was actually the Red Cross that makes sure nothing is happening here. Look how big the sausages are here. Woo -hoo. They even make their own brötchen. I was here the day when they set it up, but I don't really know what this machine does. There we go. Am I back in Venice here or what? Plenty of gingerbread hearts. This is not the Oktoberfest in Munich. We're here in Krefeld. Different people are here. I told you the GIV used to hang out right here. Just like those teenagers doing right now. When I was 14, 15, this was the best hangout. Listen to music. We just had a good time. Gogo, did you used to hang out here too? Never. I like sports. Go to gym, go hiking. <laughs> That's Sorry. right. I always like to come here. He never used to hang out with me here. I had some other friends. I had like, uh, I, I can't say the cool friends, but uh, you know, you do stuff like when you work out afterwards, you hang out here. But uh, it's nice to remember being here. But now I go with you. Now we can get together. <laughs> Yeah, there's totally different crowd here than the Oktoberfest. Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. Nobody cuts their hearts, Gewinner, Gewinner, Gewinner. Those are the milk cans that put the milk in, in Bavaria. Salute. There's really not much going on here at the fair. We just want to hang out and talk a little bit and walk around. Most. Nevertheless. Look how small the coke got here. Unbelievable. It's not America. <laughs> it's <crazy. laughs> She's happy. She got a big teddy bear. And he's happy too. He got a Pokemon. Polizei, police. Gogo, do you remember when we went to New York together? How long ago was that? 35 years ago? Uh, maybe more, maybe. <laughs> maybe longer. But we were in the crown right here. I think it was one of our first vacations. Maybe I'll find some pictures, but yeah, we were inside the Statue of Liberty. That looks like a truck stop somewhere on Route 66 here. But it says Tank Stop, the only American bar. Welcome to Vegas. Cotton candy, Roku, Super Mario, Schlumpfinch and Superman, Ernie, and Bird from Sesame Street. And there's Pooh and Mickey Mouse. There's Dumbo and a Pokemon. Is he gonna get it? Uh, I don't think so. What? Nope. Speedy Gonzalez, the fastest mouse from Mexico. Arriba, arriba. Batman or Superman? I don't know. GIV. <laughs> 
No, I go with this one, Superman. Look at this statue, pretty cool. That is a good statue though. I never seen one like this. Man, he's in good shape. Yep, I was riding one of those back then too, when I was a kid, and I was scared. When you have nothing to compare to, you think this place is pretty cool to walk around. But when you come from the biggest folks festival in the world, the Oktoberfest in Munich, this is really depressing walking around here because there's not much going on. Today is the last day, so this is going to be gone tomorrow. The Ferris wheel, Liberty wheel. Just like the one in Santa Monica here, look here. I don't know, this is, I don't know which one is higher. I think the one in Santa Monica is bigger. And Santa Monica is the only one that actually has like LED lights and it's powered by solar power. Not like this here. Okay, photovoltaic you mean, eh? Yeah? TV. <laughs> Little scary here to let us hang up here. Lulu is gonna make me sick here. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the rides are shutting down already, but we thought we we're gonna hang out at the fair a little bit. That is pretty high. Hey, they forgot us, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I just came back from the Zugspitze. I felt way safer. Look, they only got those two bolts here holding the whole thing here. <laughs> It is moving again. Google, everybody missed you, man. Everybody's asking me, where is he? What is he doing? What have you been doing? Just, woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Mike, this what? is fun now. <laughs> now we feel like kids again. <laughs> no. Damn, that was the guy who did that. He thinks that's funny. That's not funny, making that spin that fast. Man, that thing makes noise everywhere here. <laughs> the older you get, the more scary it is. I never used to be scared of heights, but now I had enough. I'm, can you please stop it now? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, come on. Don't want to drop my phone here. Look, there's the Golden Gate Bridge. They got Vegas over here. They got the four presidents, Mount Rushmore. Woo -wee. They got lots of security walking around here. I didn't know the Germans like churros. Churros, churros, churros. He got Dumbo. They got the gingerbread hearts here. I love you. Ich liebe dich. Meine Prinzessin. My princess. Look at all the candy here. Licorice. Look, there's a picture of Gogo here. Right for Halloween, they got the Geister Villa. I don't know if you've seen my video, when I first came here, they set up everything. And now you actually see everything working here. The break dance. There's literally only one little kid riding this ride here. Como estas compadre? Donde esta Marta? Take off. That's another ride I've never seen before. Ooh. I think Marilyn died 61 years ago. She's still looking good. Here you gotta shoot the little cork to the bottle and make that thing drop on the bottle. The whole Mickey family. Dagobert Duck, that's me, saving all my money, just like him. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. 
So we made it from the fair to the Blauer Engel. That's Gogo's favorite bar. He used to go to school right here somewhere, right? Yeah, it's not far away. And because when I was young, I have been here so often. What? I like this place. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know. You decide what it is. We just walk in here and show you. It's an alternative or, I don't know. It's not much going on right now. It's Sunday, but you can drink some beer, some coffee, whatever you like. They got the whole bar here, full bar. You get some salads, Hähnchen, Hähnchenspieße, baguettes. I got angels sitting everywhere. This place was our hangout after school we used to come here this place used to be packed with kids 16 15 years old and now it's pretty dead here but it's late already sunday they got those really cool beer bottles here <laughs> and i got myself a coffee and i got jimmy here soldier dreadlocks and rasta stolen from africa brought to america all those angels because the name is the blue angel the blauer engel well my friends that was it live here from the krefelder kirmes nothing special i just want to do a quick video to show that gogo is back a lot of people were asking so if you happen to like this video Give it a thumbs up. Push the notification bell. And subscribe to the German in Venice. I'll see you guys later. Good to see you, Gogo. Tschüssig. Tschüssig.